This is Prowl 1701, and we're here to do a review today of the Saber Forge Talon. Um, really excited to get this Saber. It's a newer hilt they just uh, came out with not long ago, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's going to make a nice weathered hilt Saber. I'm quite pleased with it. Of course, I did do an unboxing video of it as well. Some of you may have already seen that. We'll go ahead and get started on it. Uh, this is my third Saber Forge Saber, and... I'm really impressed with them. Uh, where to start? Where to start? We have a 32-inch blade. We have a pointed tip. All of theirs, uh, their V4 blade comes with a pointed tip. Uh, and you can duel with it. It is uh, definitely dual whip uh, ready. Really like the emitter here. These little points here. Really good for a Sith Saber. Really, really good for a Sith Saber. Uh, nice thin neck. I really like thin neck hilts. Something about them just really appeals to me. I uh, got a nice uh, section here. This is really good for gripping. I like that. Of course, we have our kill key and we have our activation switch. Now, this is their old style kill key. They normally don't do the metal kill keys anymore, but you can still request them if you just put it in the notes when you order. Say, hey, I want one of the old metal kill keys. I think they still have like thousands of these things and uh, it's weathered as well. And then this part right here, uh, I really like the way this is done. It's got kind of a sandpaper feel, but it's really good for gripping. It feels really nice. I don't know what the uh, actual name for it is, but it looks really sharp. You can really see the uh, way the metal's done there. It looks really nice. And then that pommel just screams Sith. It's uh, really impressive. Now, this is where the cover tech wheel goes. It does normally have a cover tech wheel on it right here. I took the cover tech wheel off because um, it's right here on the back, and it gets in the way of my grip a little bit. Now, of course, the cover tech wheel is mainly just for hanging it on a belt if you have a wheel clip. I don't really ever do that. I display mine with the blade in them. And for me, it's just easier to grip the saber without it. So it does come with a cover tech wheel right here, which is also weathered. I just went ahead and took it off. Uh, actually, if I'd thought about it, I would have grabbed it and had it sitting here for the review. I just didn't think to grab it before I started. And I prefer it with it off, but it does normally come with one. I do like that pommel. That pommel's really nice. Now, here is, for comparison, this is my Saber Forge Disciple, which is also a fantastic saber. Another um, Sith-style hilt. Uh, now, it has the new style kill key, which is this uh, plastic one right here with the Saber Forge symbol. I'm not as impressed with that kill key. It looks all right, but I much prefer the metal kill key here. I just think that looks better, especially when they're on display. Now, I did get the Talon in their newer deep red color, whereas in my Disciples, just in their basic red. Now, on camera, this one shows up a very magenta color, but in person, it looks a deep red, more like Darth Vader's red. It's actually a, a much deeper red, more of a Sith red than their regular red, which is uh, a brighter red. Uh, not quite orange, but a brighter red. And I have their crimson sound font on both sabers. Their crimson sound font is their more Sith sound font. They also have a Viridian sound font, which is their light side sound font. I have that on my Exalted right here. And I also have a Ultra Saber's Dark, uh, Dark Prophecy here. We'll go ahead and take the kill key out. There we go. Now, uh, again, the way you're seeing the blade is nothing like it looks in person. It just shows up like that on camera. It has a very magenta pink look. In reality, it is actually a very dark red. Um... Now, even the light shining out here is not a good indicator of what the color looks like. It's actually a very good red. I actually prefer the red of the Talon over the, uh... See the, the difference here? This is a darker red. This is a brighter red. Now, on camera, I think this one looks better. But in person, I like the deep red. It's more of a Sith color. This one is a much brighter red. I never realized how bright this red was until I was holding these next to each other. But for a Sith Saber, this is a more accurate red in my opinion, especially for original trilogy Darth Vader. 
uh, blade color. This one. This one's uh, much brighter, closer to orange. It's not actually orange, but much closer to orange. And then here's the uh, Saber. This is the Ultra Saber's Dark Prophecy in red. And it's in their Sith font. This one's also a uh, brighter red, closer to this one. These two are actually very similar. They're both a, more of a brighter red, whereas this one's the darker red. I definitely think this one's the best red of the three for a nice Sithy hilt. Um, it just... It's, it's actually really frustrating that it shows up the way it does on camera. Because I know my initial reactions when watching YouTube video was magenta. Mm. But they, they would talk about in the reviews about how it, it looks so much better in person. And this is definitely one that looks a gajillion, a million, a, 11 billion times better. That's not even a number. And of course that's their crimson sound font. And this is their Viridian sound font if you want to get like a light side hilt. That's their uh, light sound font. This is also a Sabre Forge Sabre, their Exalted, which is a fantastic hilt. But I'm quite pleased with it. It's a really nice Sabre. It's very comfortable to hold. Um, it's really hard for me to pick between the um, Disciple and the Talon, which one I like better. I think... I've also removed the uh, cover tech wheel from my disciple. That cover tech wheel on the back just gets in the way for me. Um, between the two, it's really hard for me to pick which one I like better. They're both very comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and hand this off real quick to my cameraman. He's back. We got the cameraman back. We'll uh, go over it in a little more detail. Come on up, up a little closer. As you can see, it's uh, really good for gripping. Now, I'm 5'6", and uh, back down to about 127 pounds. And doing a no-bread diet, which I know a small as you wouldn't think that. I was getting a little chubbier than I like to be. But back up to about 126, happy to be it. Uh, left saber here. As you can see, the cover tape wheel would get in the way of my hand right here. That's why I removed it. And the right hand right here, just coming up to where the thin neck is. It's actually a really comfortable spot it's really comfortable to hold uh this little bit right here that i like makes it really nice for gripping Super cool. Crimson. like i said uh, again i really love that deep red it's nice now unlike uh my ultra saber sabers the saber forge saber has a built-in recharge port so all you have to do is, uh, it'll come with a, an adapter and a cord, and all you have to do is plug the adapter, you know, the cord into the wall, the other end into the saber, and it actually charges right from there. You don't have to unscrew this and take the batteries out, although you can. The pommel will unscrew and come off. But you don't have to do that to get to the batteries like I do on my Ultra Saber Sabers. You simply plug it right into the recharge port and the other end into the wall, and it charges the saber. Also, there's an onboard menu with different options. All you have to do to get to it is hold the button down. Main menu. Select optical frequency. One. Two. See, now you can see it blinking. Three. And now it's blinking. Four. Blinking faster. Five. In case you want to have that kind of flicker effect. One. I prefer Select solid. Sound intensity. Low. High. Select impact sensitivity. One. Then you two, just tap it three, to go through the options. Four. Five. Hold it down. Select motion sensitivity. So one. You, you tap the button to rotate through the options. You hold the button down to select one. Two, three, four, five. All settings saved. And there you go. So you can adjust your sensitivity for your swings and your impact. I don't have a lot of room. I don't want to smack the light. That's why I'm not getting uh, creative with it. I really like both of these. They're, they're both really good uh, Sith hilts. It's really hard for me to pick between them. 
I like the red better on this one, although this red looks fantastic too. I'm glad I have one of each. But between the uh, Dark Disciple and the Talon, it's a tough choice. The weathering on them is fantastic. I love that Saber Forge offers that weathering option to get your sabers with that weathering look. Uh, I like the leather wrap on this one, but, but I like that uh, the way they do the grip on this one. They're both fantastic sabers. I've really been blown away by what Saber Forge has been doing. I also love my Exalted, which is kind of my light side Saber, Saber Forge Hill. It's in uh, amber in the Viridian soundboard. Got a little action button there. This one has an action feature too if you tap the button while it's on. Kind of like you're blocking force lightning with it. You know, hopefully you end up better than Mace Windu did in episode three. Sorry. Of course, my Ultra Saber's Dark Prophecy is still probably my most comfortable build, and my regular Prophecy. It's hard to beat the Ultra Saber's Prophecies in terms of comfort. Uh, they're really good. They have a good soundboard on them. Ultra Saber's also makes a great product. But I will admit that my Saber Forge Sabers uh, maybe feel a little more professionally made. Maybe a little. Whereas in these feel more like a good movie replica. These feel like a real lightsaber. They got a little more weight to them. Part of that's because they do use a thicker blade. Uh, Ultra Saber gives you an option between a regular size and a thick blade, a heavy grade blade. Uh, I think all of theirs is the uh, thick blade. So it gives a little more weight to the blade. Even the hilts have a little more weight to them. And uh, the type of metal they're made of uh, is a little different, I believe. And it feels a little more solid. If that makes sense, it's really hard to put into words. Um, I'm definitely pleased with both Saber Smiths, but I feel like these may be, uh, I don't know if I want to say a step up, but maybe a step up. But this is the Saber Forge Talon. It's a fantastic Saber. I'm definitely glad I got it. I'm glad to add it to my collection. Uh, really good Sith Saber. And, and I'm wearing my Overwatch shirt because I love Overwatch. So I just gotta give a shout out to Overwatch. It just celebrated its one year anniversary. Overwatch is one of the best video games I've ever played. So I just wanted to get that out there. Bonus points to Jeff Kaplan.